This is the Honor 400 5G, and it is the first smartphone to come with an AI image to video generator baked into the system. All you have to do is select an image and hit generate, and it'll create a five second video using that image or photo. Now, granted, you can already do this using available tools online, and there are even apps that let you do this. And granted, it's supposed to be a limited time free trial, but Honor simplifies the entire process. And this to us accomplishes two things. First, it makes the technology more accessible. So all you have to do is purchase a Honor 400 5G and you will get access to this tool. But the second and more important thing that this accomplishes is that it raises the bar and sets the tone for what generative AI features can do. Prior to this, most of the built-in AI features that come with Magic AI or any other system from any other manufacturer are mostly limited to productivity features as well as image editing stuff that you can do with stills. However, with image to video, this opens up a ton of other possibilities. The first and most obvious use case would be with creatives. Imagine being able to create a comp or a mock-up within seconds. This makes it a really invaluable tool that would boost your creativity as well as your productivity. And then you can also use this for learning and the applications for this are already obvious. Imagine a future where you can quickly create tutorials using your phone, but probably a more exciting application of this technology would be in e-commerce. There's already a Chrome plugin out there that can put you inside of any Amazon listing. I kid you not, it's not just limited to clothes, but also objects and even books that are being sold on Amazon. Check it out. It's actually really cool. I can already imagine the next stage, which would be to animate this image of you wearing a piece of clothing on Amazon and being able to rotate that so that you can see yourself from different angles. Wouldn't that be cool? So going back to the Honor 400 5G, it actually produces very convincing results despite this being the first of its kind. And we gotta commend Honor's speed in bringing this to market. Samsung doesn't have it yet. Xiaomi doesn't have it. BBK Group doesn't have it, Transient Group doesn't have it, iPhone doesn't have it, even Google doesn't have it. So no one really knows if any of these other manufacturers are working on something similar. For all we know, they already have that technology and Honor just happens to be the first. But we gotta give them credit for their speed and for being able to deliver something that produces very acceptable and convincing outputs. Now, beyond the AI image to video feature, the Honor Magic 400 also packs a ton of other AI productivity and AI image editing tools, which we've already covered in our other reviews. But even if you take that away, there are two other features that I'd like to highlight, which I think makes this phone stand out. And that is eSIM support, as well as silicon carbon battery technology. Now, while this phone might not be the first mid-range smartphone to come with eSIM, it might not even be the cheapest one with eSIM support, it's definitely a step in the right direction and it will protect you and provide you with access to a technology that is forward-looking. eSIM has been around for quite some time now However, adoption hasn't really picked up. And one of the reasons is access to devices. Physical SIMs aren't going away anytime soon, especially in the Philippines, but it is a trend and that is where we're headed. And it's good for anyone who is going to be investing in a phone in 2025 to be able to purchase a phone with eSIM support without spending 60 or 70,000 pesos. Now, the second feature that we mentioned is also hardware related, and that is 
silicon carbon battery technology. Up until now, that's something that we've seen on a limited number of phones. And you could go two ways about it. You can either retain the same capacity and make the phone slimmer because of the density of silicon carbon technology. As is the case with the Honor Magic V3 which we showcased some time ago. It's super thin. Or in the case of the Honor 400, they retain the same thickness but increase the capacity to 6,000 milliamp hours, which in our battery life benchmarks produce around 13 and a half to 14 hours of screen on time on Wi-Fi. Now who would want that? But there's another bonus to using silicon carbon battery technology because of the higher heat tolerance or higher temperature tolerance. If you're subscribed to our channel, you've probably seen us trying to boil the Honor X9C. We've also tried freezing other phones that use silicon carbon battery technology. But the direct effect in terms of performance is that it is actually more stable. In our thermal throttling tests, the Honor 400 5G only suffered a performance hit of 12% within a 10-minute period, which is great because it means you will be able to experience sustained peak CPU and GPU load on this phone without suffering a huge performance hit. And this is something that we demonstrated in our gaming review. We're gonna be uploading that to our YouTube channel. So check it out at the Kuya. It really is something to look forward to and we're really impressed. Beyond this, the Honor 400 5G offers good value with its hardware. It runs on the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chipset with 12 gigs of LPDDR4X memory and 512 gigs of UFS storage. It also packs a 200 megapixel main camera with OIS. In terms of image quality, we feel that it is a step above most mid-range camera phones, but the sound quality is really good. The mic is really strong and it is able to pick up your voice even from afar. Just Check out the demo videos that we uploaded in our channel. But the thing is, the Honor 200 already had really strong cameras. So we're just glad that it did not take a step back and it was able to improve that even further. <laughs> Daran. So ito yung package ng Honor 400. Syempre, yung phone. The one thing that we were hoping to see and we did not find on the Honor 400 would be improved English protection. Now, granted, this is the 100 series which has always been more camera centric. We were kind of hoping that we would at least see IP67 or IP68 dust and water resistance. I guess that's hoping for too much right now. But hopefully that's something that we will see in the Honor 500 or the Honor 600 in a year or so. So that's something for us to look forward to. But in the meantime, the Honor 400 5G launches June 17. Price prediction would be around 23 to 25,000 pesos. But you get a ton of freebies worth 9,397 pesos, which I think is really good value and enhances the overall experience of owning a premium phone. Because at the end of the day, that is what the Honor 400 5G is. It's a premium upper mid-range smartphone that is the first phone to offer AI image to video conversion. It offers eSIM support, silicon carbon batteries, strong camera features. So do you have any questions about the Honor 400 5G? Let's talk more about this phone on the comment section. Check out our other videos 
on the Honor 400 5G on our YouTube channel at Tekuya. We'll see you guys there. Paalam. Thank you.